Well, yeah, I, I had a good look in the morning, but uh, I wasn't matching up with the surface and uh, the bowling ball that I was using. I made some changes uh, for the afternoon with Dell, and uh, they started really good, uh, 247, 299. And, and then I ran a little bit into trouble game four, 208 clean, and I was uh, able to finish strong in the last game with 289, so it was a really good block. Well, we haven't seen, uh, I've seen a motion close to this, but I haven't seen it in a long time. Um, so uh, what happens is that you really have to aim pretty much at the pocket. You cannot swing the ball at all, uh, but you need to match up the surface and uh, the ball so it doesn't hook early or it doesn't hook too late. So. It's a, it's a challenge, it's a tough pattern. Uh, I was really surprised with how high the scores were and the cut is. But I mean, I mean these guys are so good, we, we, uh, someone was going to figure it out. And, and as, as soon as we do, here comes the 250s, 260s. Well, going in, this was uh, actually a pattern we'd never seen before with it being 52 feet. Uh, the only time in all my years of being a tour rep out here was uh, the TSC years ago at the Mohegan Sun. They ran a 50 foot pattern um, on a synthetic lane surface. Uh, this week here on the wood, uh, they decided to go 52 feet. Um, the idea was to create something a little bit different than the shark pattern, uh, something that you know the guys couldn't just freewheel it. Something you had to kind of keep your angles shut down in front of you, which uh, a lot of our guys are really good at. And um, you know we had to use a variety of different balls because everybody saw friction in a different part of the lane. Because uh, the other thing was the wood. Um, that's another some, another thing we've been talking about. Um, I don't think these guys, some of these guys, have bowled on wood since like 2005. So it's been kind of a, a a long time, you know, haven't seen wood, haven't seen a long pattern, and it, throwing them together kind of made uh, some guys got tricked a little bit, but uh, for the most part, we got most of the guys figured out. As far as the rotor grip stuff, uh, we actually had some good matches with the Defiant Soul, uh, the Disturbed, and the Wrecker. Actually, all three balls were in play. Um, and in fact, Andres Gomez actually found an old uh, oldie but a goodie. He's actually using an outlaw right now, um, and he's made a good run the second block, and he's going to make the cut using that. Um, so really it was kind of a variety of stuff and uh, even saw some of the guys that are non-staffers. Um, There's a couple of screaming shouts that went down the lane, but for the most part it was Disturbs, Wreckers, and Souls. A lot of Defiant Souls, a second block. Um, just because the lanes played a little bit different than they did this morning. Um, with the, the difference in the friction and that 52 feet, with the again it gets into the time frame of how oil, how long, how long oil sits on a lane surface. And with it being wood, it saturates a little different. So we had a little bit different friction spot and a lot of guys are uh, in Defiant Soul and you even like Dom Barrett, this block, used Defiant Soul on the left lane. Or actually, I take it back. Defiant Soul on the right lane, Disturbed on the left lane the entire block. Um, that's what he's bowling right now. Um, Mike Wolf actually switched to a uh, Defiant Soul and uh, probably a little too late, but he actually shot 270. He's shooting 270 again this game. So. Uh, bueno, hoy fue una ronda bastante difícil. Eh, en la mañana, eh, básicamente no tuve nada de, de carry, pero en la tarde logré cambiarle un poco la superficie a la bola zinc, ponerle un mil con un poquito de agua y tú hizo toda la diferencia para lograr meterme en el corte y tirar, creo que fueron 295 arriba en cinco juegos. Sí, obviamente cada vez me siento más cómodo, eh, he obtenido mucha experiencia en, en los últimos años aquí en el Tour y ya después de tener dos títulos creo que eh, me siento con la confianza para lograr hacer el tercero este mismo año.